Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the series of learning Playwright in Java and to end web testing with Playwright. All right, and in this video, we will basically understand the uh, code that we have written last time, right? And let's get started with it. All right, awesome. So agenda is very simple, guys. Uh, we will basically going to understand uh, the playwright, uh, what what the code that we have written, right? We will basically understand that. We will understand what is browser, browser context. Uh, this uh, launching in a parallel, we will see in the next video. Uh, here, basically, the similar code that you have written, you can basically uh, run them parallelly also in on a different browsers. We'll see in the next one. Uh, we'll try to include uh, other test cases also, but we'll basically the more main motive is we need to understand the playwright and the uh, there is a difference between the Cypress. So lots of people will ask me if Cypress was already available, Cypress is mature, Cypress as a community, why playwright, right? So we will understand this in this video. Okay, let's do that. Awesome. Uh, first of all, what you need to understand is the concepts of playwright core. Okay, and this is really important for your interview also. Uh, what is exactly is a playwright core? It's nothing. It's very very easy. Let me tell you. Uh, whenever you launch a browser, right? You this is a browser that I have launched, right? You will see this is a URL bar, right? And there uh, there was a used to a enter button in the previous browsers, right? But now uh, there is a normal enter box, right? So whenever you write an a URL and click on enter, it will basically load that page. Now suppose that google.com is loaded and here you will interact with the page. So this is now a page and this is your browser, right? So understand this. A browser is nothing but a basically this browser instance, right? And this browser is nothing but behind the scene using the rendering engine. For example, if uh, this is a Chrome, we are using a Blink, right? And Chrome, uh, some people will say it's a Chromium. Engine Chromium was no, never a engine. Chromium was a project which basically behind the scene is using the Blink uh, rendering engine. So actually the name was Blink. Okay, Blink rendering engine, right? And this engine is basically converting all the SPA application that you have, right? So whenever you launch a URL, that code HTML code which is coming here this engine will basically translate and give it to the browser this is really really important please understand this okay so now we know we have our sp application available at a certain url which basically goes to this blink engine and that engine is basically uh, rendered all this and this is a browser which basically show you the application right cool make sense Okay, so we have a browser, we have a browser uh, context, right? And we have a page. So after you will see that ptm.com is loaded, right? You will see that there is a page and now you can interact with that page. For example, you can do a payment for your phone. You can do it. You can give electricity bill and you can do different payment methods, right? And that uh, after using page objects, you can do navigations. This is important, right? So uh, just see this. Now, uh, First of all, you need to create create a playwright object and it will basically create a play, playwright instance. That instance can be used to create a new browser, right? And here in the new browser, what you are doing is you are basically calling, uh, I want to launch Chrome, I want to launch Firefox, you want to launch WebKit, right? And you can basically uh, run on a different br <laughs> browser also by calling it, okay? And this browser will give you a context. The new context, uh, this this is actually a browser context, right? And this context will give you the new page, right? Whenever you load a page, it will give you a page. And after that, uh, pages will can navigate, can click on it, can click on button, click, can uh, fill a form, can do multiple things, right? So after that, this is there. So you have to know browser context page and its navigation. The three things are really, really important and that's it all about it. And all the things that you are seeing are very much similar as compared to the Selenium that you have seen. Okay. So browser context and page are little different concepts that are added. And we will learn more in the upcoming videos about them also. Okay. How to create a different new context. New context is nothing but a basically kind of a sandbox environment. How you can do that. Do all the things. Awesome. Cool. Let's uh, so again, let's understand the code again. Now uh, you have seen this test case, right? Uh, where we are basically creating a playwright object by using this static method of create. Now uh, we are launching a Chrome function. Basically, we are telling that we want to launch a Chrome and this basically takes an arguments. You can uh, basically 
say uh, we want headless here you can say i want slow mode and other things you can basically mention here how you want this uh, browser to be launched now you have a browser basically launch you are creating a new page you are basically launching as the dot live page and you are printing out the title that's it okay so this is a simple sample code that we have basically understood awesome uh, now what you can do is you can take a screenshot also so this is the code uh, you can basically take the screenshot now to take a screenshot we need a page one right only page uh, there is a function called as screenshot and in that you are basically mentioned i want a new page screenshot option and the path of it you need to mention the path so let's do one thing uh, let's uh, run it directly uh, okay and let me copy this code uh, here let's give it a try okay so this was a previous code that we had right uh, after assertion i want a screenshot also i have added this code right now and here is it's basically asking i need to import uh, let's import the class right and there is a path which is added okay and let's run it let me rerun rerun for you guys actually i uh, uh our screenshot is already available uh, i'm just rerunning again so this is a browser and uh okay i'm just rerunning for you guys yeah you'll see this browser right yeah all right so it's done and here you will see uh, example dot uh, png is available at the path right uh, we have added this path only so screenshot is working fine and here we have mentioned that we are basically we need to take this screenshot option and we are setting up the path as example dot png you can say anything like test dot png or anything that you want okay now this is sorted awesome let's uh, quickly understand the difference between cypress and playwright right which is important and uh, i mean people generally ask you this question right why you are choose why you are going with the uh, playwright right now cypress is already available okay uh, i would recommend read this article for so let's uh, so the overall crips or crux of this article was playwright basically works on the bra uh, web uh, webkit browsers right and cypress is not working basically playwright works on the uh, api level you know it's a, a single api and works on directly with the rendering engines where cypress basically uh, works in a different way okay uh, in cybers uh, you can't choose any kind of a test uh, frame runners right but uh, here in the playwright you can choose your runner if you want you can you go for the uh, jest and other test runners are available okay you can go with uh, playwright basically lets you test in several browser at the same time which is really important which cybers basically lacks right again playwright supports multi tab and frame which is cybers no no big no cybers can't support multi tabs and frame that's why we have not chosen let me give you a very brief example uh when we whenever when we were automating our front end uh, right we started using cybers and we faced this issue where multi -tab, multiple tabs and frames were uh, very much not supported right so here uh, right now what we are doing is we are switching to playwright all the code okay so that's a learning for us even with the like 9 years experience 10 years experience this kind of learning you can see so playwright definitely it's a better choice if you compare but again it's up to you guys if you are comfortable in cybers and since cybers commands and other things are really really easy cybers provide you with a proper folder structure how to maintain your code and other thing playwright doesn't provide you anything so there is an advantage in cybers also okay so you have to make your decision based on it cyber doesn't run in headers mode by default Uh, playwright does playwright basically await the ui element before running interaction cybers uh, try the assertion until the timeout so there is a huge difference both are so overall conclusion is both are awesome tools both have a different use cases if you are someone who want to automate end to end ui automation i would suggest give it a try of playwright also you will love it okay and if you are basically want to uh use the rendering engines on a different browsers go with the playwright and even we have started migrating our code to playwright it's really easy you just need to to because we have uh hey have we had a proper uh, structure and the apis are quite similar so that's why we are also changing it and the new test cases we are adding in a playwright which are really really easy to automate okay so that was it guys uh, i hope you have learned something and now it is clear like why uh playwright is a good choice for you guys we have able to understand the first code also right 
uh, how the playwright works now we will basically deep dive and we will basically learn about the different uh, locate like how you can do locators what is your locator strategies whenever you are writing the playwright test cases we will write and we will understand more core concepts like browser context pages there are different functions available right we will do a page object model another important concept on how you can run your playwright test cases on a docker or other selenium grids also okay so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video make sure you start watching the third video now and where you will be doing the concepts okay thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye